if you're not familiar with Christianity and you want to just get a sense of the basic tenets of the faith, you really can't go wrong with the Sermon on the Mount in the Gospel of Matthew. That's Matthew chapters 5, 6, and 7. Jesus teaches us about prayer and fasting and acts of mercy and how these are expressions of both love for God and also for our neighbor, which elsewhere in the gospel, he shows us are connected as the two great commandments. And in the sermon, he really doesn't focus on, on behaviors, things to do or not do, but he focuses on internal attitudes, the way that we should be looking at the world, the things we should hold in our hearts as we encounter people and situations and just the general world around us. And in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus offers us teaching on how we should look at our own lives. Some things in the scriptures are really difficult to understand. You need a concordance and maybe a, a dictionary, Greek or Hebrew, and, and a commentary from somebody. But, but this particular teaching is so clear and it is so direct that you just look at it once and it's obvious. It's not easy, but it's very clear and simple to understand. And the teaching is to not become obsessed with worry about material things. Now, he's not saying to be irresponsible with these things. Obviously, we have to be good stewards of our, our lives, our, our homes, the, the food that we eat, the clothes we wear. And if we're parents or, or if we're married or, or if we're caregivers, we have to take these things very seriously because there's obviously also other lives that are depending on us. So it's not about being irresponsible, but the teaching is not to become distracted with worry not to become so caught up in rumination and in imaginary situations and hypothetical problems that we, we waste the one thing that we always have at our, at our disposal to be able to actually address these issues, address the needs that we have. And that is the time here and now. It is the present moment. Becoming distracted by worry, we eat up the, the moment that we have. We eat up the time that we have and make the situation much more difficult for ourselves. The worry, it, it, it aggregates and it makes us feel worse and it makes us more distracted and we have less resources, less mental resources, less, less physical, maybe even less material resources to actually apply ourselves to the very things that are on our minds. Jesus concludes this part of his sermon by saying, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. If there's one thing we need to keep coming back to that should be the constant refrain in our lives, it's the question, am I really living as a citizen of God's kingdom? And as we know in the scriptures, the word kingdom is not a place, but it is a condition. It is a situation. The kingdom of God is the reign of God. It is the rule of God. So if we are going to seek the kingdom of God, what we are doing is we are trying to do God's will in our lives and seeking out his righteousness. The things that God knows are the things that are right and that are pure and that are life-giving. These are the things we need to be seeking out. This is the thing we really need to be putting our, our energy and our resources into, the thing we should always be coming back to. Am I serving God's will? And am I really embracing the things that he has shown me in his scriptures in the life of the church and the life of the saints, the things that have, that have been demonstrated to me over and over again to be life-giving ways of thinking, talking, and acting. We come back to that all the time. Am I really serving God's will? And am I really embracing this life-giving way that he has given to me? That's the real question. That has to be the thing that's on our minds most. And the time that we need to focus on is now. What is God's will for me now? How can I best serve him? How can I best embrace this life-giving way at this very moment? By focusing on this, on the present moment, the one that we have in front of us, to serve him and to embrace that which gives us life, we are then setting ourselves up on a healthy trajectory for the future. Distraction from this, it sets us off on a toxic trajectory, the healthy trajectory is that right now I ask myself, how can I best serve God? How can I best honor and glorify him in the situation that I find myself in with the work that is before me right now? The only thing that distracting ourselves with worry gets us 
is a little bit older and feeling a little less well. Instead, let's trust in God's providence and fall into the arms of his mercy in the present moment, moment by moment, minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day. In this way, we serve his holy will. We do what is right in his eyes. And step by step, moment by moment, we draw ever closer to his heavenly kingdom. And to God be all glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen.